Hi there! Today we're going to be making some really yummy pages with coffee and this video is a collaboration with Laura from Laura Mix Media. I will put the link to her channel down below so you can go check her out and if you're coming from Laura, hi! My name is Marcy, so happy to have you here and if you're an old sub of mine, welcome back! We're having some fun today so let's get started! I love working with book pages for mixed media. Um, in this case, they're not only free because this was a book that my library was getting rid of. And they put these books in a box in case anyone wants to take them. So this was a big medicine book and I picked it just because it was big, not because um, the medicine. But I do like that it had some drawings and some cool um, words in there. So even though we're playing gesso, some of those words and letters and drawings are gonna pick through and I really like that so um, I'm adding some instant coffee to my gesso because I want it to dissolve a little and give the pages this little brownish creamy tint just make the pages look really yummy and attractive um, for mixed media so people have asked me how the coffee sticks to the page because it's dry and I'm not using glue, well, the coffee just starts dissolving in any wet medium and the gesso is still pretty wet, so that's why it sticks to it or the water in case you're not using gesso. And you can see here a little bit more close up all those yummy brown tones that are emerging from mixing the gesso and the coffee together. Once they were dry, mine took about three to four hours to fully fully dry but I let them be for like two days and then started working on them. Before we go any farther I wanted to show you that I do split out my pages with a ruler and this is because I do want the torn edge but I still want it to be straight so that I can scan them to use them later and I just took through three plastic plates <laughs> and added a spoon of coffee, half a spoon and then just the tip of the spoon of coffee and then added some paint from um, painting our walls. This was left over so I saved it and I'm adding two spoons to each of the plates and then I started mixing them Truly, starting with the lighter color which is the plate that has very little coffee in it and you want to make sure that you dissolve the entire coffee thing so that you don't have um, lumps like little bowls or like chunks of coffee there. We're gonna be adding water later to make the paint a little bit more fluid but make sure that you dissolve it first before you add anything else to it. So you go from light color to dark color and this is because I was using only one spoon but um, you can have a spoon for each plate that doesn't really matter. I'm just trying not to use a lot of plastic spoons here. But yeah, then you just add some water to it. You can see that this water is just water from um, in a little recycled jar from my faucet um, and yeah, just mix it up thoroughly again and make sure that it all kind of comes together. And by the way, if you have any questions about what I use in my videos, make sure to always check the description. I try to link all the things that I use in my videos in the description. And add water to the other two paints and mix thoroughly. This is really going to help the paint spread on your page and make it easy to work with. And having these three really nice shades um, from light to dark, it's going to give it a lot of playfulness. So for the first um, page, I'm just grabbing an old toilet paper um, tube, like an empty toilet paper tube. And I know this is a technique that many artists use. But I thought I was going to start really easy and make sure that um, you had the materials to do this. So toilet paper rolls, I mean everybody has toilet paper. So you can tell after the pandemic, some people probably still have a stash somewhere in their house. But we're just making some circles or around the page and I wanted to make them um, on a line or like as a pattern. 
I was thinking maybe to add quotes in this or mark making or I don't know. My mind was just really having fun here and not thinking too much about anything but creativity. <laughs> For our second page, we're just going to wet the paper. Again, this is why I used um, the gesso just to prep the page to make sure it can take water and not dissolve because it's just paper. So I'm just wetting in some spots. Um, normally I go from one corner to the other and then maybe a little bit on top of the second mark and then diagonally to that one. Now I'm just adding some coffee and you can see that it will start going darker. This is because it start to dissolve in the water that we put on top of the paper. And this is just gonna make it really fun and runny. I'm adding some more water and then some more coffee and just playing, trying to get the coffee to be really like in a puddle, but at the same time having like a specific areas with the puddles and the other ones I just wanted the coffee to just shine through and do its magic. So after looking at it I decided to add more water and more coffee and make it even um, more fun than it already looked. If you want to see some of my projects that I don't have the chance to post here on YouTube, go over to my Instagram and check out the pictures that I post there. It, my Instagram is at mixitupmarcy. Feel free to also send me um, work that you've done for me to look at or tag me. I would love to see what you come up with. That's better. Now for this one, I decided I was just gonna do some brush marks and it looks like I'm going all over the place here, but I'm actually in my head looking at this as if they were imaginary lines on my paper so that I will have one mark on top of the other because I'm planning of mixing some colors. So you see that in a way they're in line and now I'm just trying to fill one color before going to the next and now I'm filling up with the next color. So you can see that you can um, do many, many patterns with this simple brush strokes, but I decided to keep along and play as the same pattern I was using for the toilet paper rolls, just going lines. As easy as that, and I love how it looks. Now for this one, I'm just gonna make lines. See, we have circles and we have lines and those are two different shapes. It's just something fun and easy to play with and I'm measuring, it looks like I'm just hesitating but I'm measuring with my brush how thick um, the brush is so that I can have another, light, another line underneath that one with a different color to make sure I leave enough space so I kind of guesstimate and try to measure with the brush, but um, again, you can do whatever type of line you want. You can actually mix brush sizes. That would be cool too. So just experiment, explore, have fun. Try to use this moment as your relax moment and self-care for yourself. That looks pretty to me. So I'm gonna put it aside to dry. Now for this one, I'm gonna go back to my fork friend, but instead of making a pattern like I've done in my other videos or in the past, I am going to use the fork to do some mark making, but also make it a little bit rustic, kind of like if you're looking at a wall, and the paint was falling and you can see what um, the paint reveals behind the wall. So imagine just like bricks or like an old wall falling down, being aged and 
you know so I that I'm using that mark in the middle with the coffee that we applied with the gesso to be kind of like popping through my marks but at the same time making the paper look kind of old and just fun different That looks pretty to me, so I'm moving on to the next page. For this one, since we went with patterns and then we went a little bit crazy, kind of aging the page and imagining this wall, this one looks kind of like the ribbons that you will use at a party. And it's not like we're celebrating anything because we're still at home and not having too much contact with anyone really but um yeah self-care people self-care we are just playing with the little lines and making some party ribbon in our paper so whatever you can imagine you can create and just this is pretty fun so you can make whatever your mind thinks about By the way, the link to the free printables, like to these pages that are going to be available for you to print, it's going to also be in the description. Now we put that aside to dry and we're going to go back to our circular shapes and I'm making just some simple, simple circles different sizes some are bigger some are smaller so we're in this one we're mixing the simplicity of the circles and the patterns with different um, sizes just to make it a little bit more interesting and guide your eye to that center part again where the coffee grounds or the coffee instant coffee is we're gonna put it aside and we're gonna go back to our potty ribbons and we're just gonna add another color just to make it pop a little bit more and give it some depth um, if you do different um, colors it will make it not only more interesting to the eye but it will kind of make it 3d in a way so it will kind of pop from that rusty raggedy page to a more fun and happy place what do you think would you have done something different? What kind of papers are you thinking of making? I'm curious now, so please leave me a comment down below telling me what kind of papers you're gonna do with this simple, fun coffee and paint technique. You can tint your coffee, I mean, you can tint your white paint with whatever you uh, feel like, um, whatever color you feel like. You can add some different spices, perhaps, just make sure it's safe. <laughs> and now this is going to dry and I'm going to go back to my circles. They're not completely dry, just letting you know that. But they're dry enough so that the paint won't smear, but it will blend. So now we're adding the opposite. These are dark and I'm adding some, um, not the, the medium kind of darkness. Um, paint here and it's just to make him pop a little bit out of the page from that white dirty white background and I, they look beautiful they just do I'm sorry I love my papers <laughs> and then we go back to the toilet paper roll and you just cut a part of it and then snip it on the sides like two little lines on each middle sides like I'm doing here then you tie a little knot in the middle so that it's together and then when you try to open it like back up it has like a little eight shape or like like a bow shape and you dip that little bow into the coffee and then you can just make little patterns with it like a little chain now you're going to see that when you dip it sometimes it has some of them are filled and some others are not filled in like that one right there and there's a little trick for that I mean it's not really a trick but um, it, it has like a bubble effect you know when you're blowing bubbles and 
the soap stays in the little um, round bubble blower wand or whatever you want to call it this is what it looks like and if you don't like that look or to be surprised about which ones are filled in and which are not you can just pop the bubble like that and you'll have no problem and you just continue to make your little pattern I mean you can even cut the toilet paper roll differently so that it makes like a little star shape or whatever it just imagination you guys this is just playful pattern paper making <laughs> Now we're going back to the toilet paper roll, but this time we're gonna make it a little bit more squashed so that it's an oval. And I know this is gonna be like, oh, but you already did this. No, I didn't because these are ovals and I'm using the lightest shade first and then I'm using the dark shade, um, shade of coffee um, on top of it to make them pop. And make them interesting so this should be something like the 50 shades of coffee it's just three but to make it more dramatic let's say 50 shades of coffee all done <laughs> now we're gonna go we're gonna have some fun with whatever we had left in my craft paper that protects my table this is probably going to make an appearance somewhere else too, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But rinse your brush and admire your work. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!